Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to present our work on exploring a new approach of hybrid system model checking for MDPMP from offline long run to online short run. Um, let's first look at the demand. You all know that there are already hundreds of thousands of um, smart or embedded devices available in the medical settings and we want to make them interconnected uh, to provide medical device plug and play um, for better safety capability and convenience of medical treatment. Um, among which safety is probably the most important objective. Uh, MDPMP can help prevent many serious lethal accidents in the medical settings. For example, uh, if we're using laser scalpel to do laser tracheotomy, one kind of accident that can happen is that when you cut the windpipe using laser, and the inside of the windpipe there are high concentration of uh, oxygen, then you can actually set fire on the patient. So MDPMP's job in um, laser tracheotomy is to interlock the laser scope hell with the ventilator uh, to prevent this kind of situation from happening. Uh, what is more, inspired uh, by the success of uh, requiring avionics to be verifiably safe, uh, the hospitals and government also want MDPNP to be verifiably safe. Uh, so, how to do that? A key tool for traditional computer systems verification is model tracking. Uh, so we have, usually we use the automaton, uh, automata to uh, describe the logic of the computer systems. We use states to uh, describe the discrete states of a computer and we use edges to describe the events, discrete events that triggers the transform of the state of a computer system. Uh, and then we can use this automaton, uh, automata to do model checking to verify the safety, liveness, persistence, and other um, uh, preferable properties of your computer system, software and hardware system. Um, however, MDPMP is not just a computer system. It is a hybrid of computer and other systems. Uh, that's the reason why it's called CPS, a typical CPS application. It includes computers, uh, the biochemical system, very c complicated biochemical system of the patient, and uh, the mechanical systems of different kinds of medical devices, such as the ventilator, um, and maybe communication systems that interconnect all these devices and sensors. Uh, therefore, a, we have to try to use some tool that is designed for hybrid systems, and a state-of-the-art uh, CPS model checking tool is the hybrid systems model checking, which is um, originally designed for the hybrid system of computers and feedback control. Uh, I'll just use a simple example to explain to you what is, to demonstrate to you what is hybrid system model checking. Uh, this example is a bouncing ball example. Uh, when you drop a ball, uh, at the very beginning, this ball is totally governed by the Newtonian law, law which can be described by a differential equation set. However, uh, so we, we can use this uh, node uh, with this differential equation set uh, that describes the Newtonian law of the free falling of this ball. Okay. Uh, and then, once the ball hit the ground, a discrete event happens. That is, the ball will um, reverse its direction of velocity, okay, bouncing up. And then this event is described by an edge. Okay. And then, once it is bounced off, then again, it's governed by the Newtonian law, which can be described by the discrete equation set, differential, uh, differential equation set. Okay. So uh, this is a typical example of hybrid system modeling, uh, which combines the differential equation set, which describes the continuous time behavior of a physical object, and the edges that describe the discrete event that can happen um, that changes your uh, differential equation set. So this is the hybrid system model, modeling and model checking tool. Uh, I'll skip the other example. However, the existing hybrid system model checking tools, the computer, which is mainly for computer and feedback control system, doesn't very well fit MDPMP. Uh, the existing model checking is usually done offline, uh, partly due to the lack of time cost bound. Uh, so it is done before the system is put online. Secondly, 
uh, the existing model checking tool uh, is verifies the time unbounded behavior, or in other words, long run behavior of the system. Um, so it checks into the future of infinity. During that period of future, the system must be all safe. Uh, however, when we apply this kind of uh, traditional practice to medical device plan and play, we encounter two challenges. The first challenge is that there are usually no good offline models for the complex biomedical system of the human body. Um, so, uh, take the blood oxygen level for example. It is very difficult to give offline uh, the differential equation that describe the change of uh, the blood oxygen level of the patient. Because this variable is affected, this vital sign is affected by too many factors. The patient's age, um, gender, weight, and even its emotional mood can affect the way that the blood oxygen level changes in the future. So it is practically impossible for us to give this differential equation offline. Uh, the second challenge is that verification state space can easily explode. Uh, this is already a, a common problem for model checking and the same thing for uh, hybrid system model checking. And when we are dealing with the more complex human body, the biochemical system of human body, this, um, this problem becomes even more eminent. Okay. So here is the example. So mainly we can describe the physical systems, the devices, however, uh, when we come to the patient and when we want to describe offline using differential equation to describe the change of the patient's blood oxygen level, we don't know how to do that. It is impossible for us to give this differential equation offline. Uh, so how to deal with this? these two challenges. We propose that for MDPMP, hybrid system model checking, we should alter our traditional practice of offline verification of time unbounded behavior to online, periodical, real-time hybrid system model checking of time bounded uh, future, or short run future. So, so traditional we, the verification is done offline, model checking is done offline, now we do it online and periodical and real time, in real time. And then um, traditionally it's done uh, to verify the long run future behavior. Now we just uh, verify the behavior within the current period of online verification. Okay. So how does this deal with these two challenges? Number one, challenge number one. No good offline models for complex biomedical system of human body. Uh, we find that if we do things online, we find that most vital signs, online shut run behavior, is quite easy to predict. Okay. And take the blood oxygen level, for example. Although it is affected by many factors, however, if we carry out an online periodical model checking with a period of one or two seconds, then we find it's usually quite easy to predict the behavior of the blood oxygen level for the next one or two seconds. We can use like um, very simple tools like the linear regression to predict. So the blood oxygen level is almost independent from other factors. Just using linear regression, you can predict the blood oxygen level for the next one or two seconds, the verification period. Okay. Secondly, uh, because we are doing things online, a lot of vital signs, uh, very hard to predict, hard to describe vital signs, uh, can be approximated uh, using either linear regression or be regarded as a constant. Suppose our online verification period is short enough. Uh, so a lot of parameters becomes, can become fixed constants. Okay. This greatly shrinks the state, state space of verifi for verification. And uh, secondly, because we're just verifying the behavior of a system in the current period, current specific period, the short run. Therefore, it also helps to shrink the state space. Okay. So, 
Now let's model the patient again now using online and short run verification with period online verification period of t. So we only care about behavior system behavior within this period of t. Uh, we see that we can describe the blood oxygen level behavior using just linear regression. Okay. And then we can, uh, the, all the other modeling are uh, very routine, and I'm going to skip it. So there's one more question. Can the hybrid system model checking finish or terminate within the period of t? Uh, unfortunately, in general, hybrid system model checking is an undecidable problem. That means if you ask a yes or no question, whether or not it's safe, uh, the computer may not be able to answer you, even if you have the fastest computer in the world. Um, and so now we, we look at the focus in a more specific type of hybrid system, hybrid system models, which is called a linear hybrid automaton model checking. Unfortunately, this is still undecidable. However, uh, if we further shrink, constraint, uh, the set of the automatons, uh, we only look at what we call a simple time-bounded linear hybrid system, hybrid automata model checking. Then we can actually prove, uh, using a well-known reachability calculation procedure, uh, this procedure can terminate within polynomial time. Okay. So, and, and another concern is that whether or not this STB LHA is powerful enough. Uh, what we can say is that it's powerful enough to describe laser transactomy scenario, which is a representative MDPMP scenario. So we are confident that this kind of uh, tool is powerful enough to describe many other um, representative MDPMP settings. Okay. Uh, evaluation. So we emulated the oximeter and um, oxygen sensor using NIH PhysioNet real-world patient uh, traces, vital sign traces. And then the uh, sampling and online model tracking period is three seconds. And then uh, we use handwritten online model generator combined with a well-known um, hybrid system model checker, which is called uh, Favor. And then we, the, the, the computational environment is a very mediocre uh, laptop environment. And we find that the statistics of the execution time, time class, uh, is always the model, modeling and verification time cost is always within 1.5 seconds. Remember, the online model checking period is 3 seconds. So, with certain simple pipelining, we're confident that the model checking can be carried out online and within real time. Uh, another concern is that whether or not our linear regression uh, prediction of the blood oxygen level behavior is accurate uh, estimation, is an accurate uh, prediction for the blood oxygen level. So we also carry out the uh, statistics on the accuracy of our uh, linear regression model. We find that the linear regression prediction, linear regression based prediction of blood oxygen level is actually quite accurate. Uh, the relative error is always within 3.5 percent. Related work, uh, runtime verification. It is more about um, analyzing the log of traces. So it is for debugging purposes instead of preventing faults or failures during runtime. Um, online, also there are uh, some uh, other works, recent works on online model checking, but they are about discrete system model checking instead of hybrid system model checking. And uh, in the end, uh, we have to declare that although in the evaluation we use favor model checker, our approach uh, is open to other hybrid system model checkers. Thank you.